A windy day here today in Dunedin. Doesn't affect me so much as my guest, Mike Wilner of Sportsnet 590, the fan. And Mike, uh, some cuts were made today, but I guess none that were all that surprising. No, not really. Chad Jenkins, Kyle Drabeck, and Sean Nolan go out. None of them really had a chance to make the team. They still like Sean Nolan a lot. He's going to go down and start in Buffalo. Drabeck kind of speed bump this spring wasn't as ready as everybody thought coming back off that second Tommy John he'll likely go down and start in Buffalo as well and Chad Jenkins John Gibbons said it when he sent him down this guy can pitch in the major leagues but he's got options and there are guys who he's not that much better than so there's no room for him now I know Gibby doesn't want to talk about it too much but uh, hey we will the starting rotation are we any clearer any closer to finding out who's on that starting rotation. I think we might have been a little bit closer if Todd Redmond had gone out and pitched terribly on Sunday, but he didn't. He went five innings, gave up two runs, and had a Todd Redmond start. So he's still very much in the mix. Jay Happ's still in the mix. But Jay Happ hasn't pitched well. And, uh, not even hasn't pitched well. He hasn't pitched less than abominably yet in a Grapefruit League outing. And he's only thrown 43 pitches at his highest. So is he going to be ready to go seven innings yeah, on opening day? He's a big fan of Hap. Yeah, I know. And, and they're paying him more than $5 million. And I think Hap may have the inside track if he's stretched out enough to go. You've got him. You've got Redmond. You've got... Esmo Rogers, but I think they like him better in the bullpen. And then Ricky Romero is is just on the periphery, and so is Marcus Stroman. I talked to John Gibbons today after the game about Ricky Romero, and he's loving what he's seen from Romero so far this spring training. Yeah, how can you not? I mean, he's back to being the old Ricky again. At least he was in his last outing. He's going to get the start on Tuesday. Four or five innings against the Tigers, probably their A lineup, so it's a nice little test for him. I still think, though, even if he continues to pitch well, there's no harm in sending him down, let him get five or six starts down in Buffalo, see if he can keep this up, and then you bring him up and, and he helps you out. Blue Jays have their second and final off day tomorrow. They're not coming anywhere near this place but they get back at it on Tuesday. Romero and Stroman scheduled to pitch then.